A prayer rose up from the copper-coloured walls of the city of Iruk, growing louder and louder until not even the gods could ignore it. The sound of a whole city down on its knees crying out, something must be done about Gilgamesh. Something must be done about Gilgamesh. Something must be done about Gilgamesh. He saw a man, taller and broader than any other, muscles like rock, skin that gleamed like the walls of that fair city itself. A man whose face shone like the sun. Gilgamesh. And he saw how every single man, woman and child went down on their knees when the king Beautiful textured images, lots of shining, shining cities in the middle of the desert and cedar trees with beautiful soft rain and beasts and fights and sex and death and mourning and just, just a perfect way to spend a couple of hours and be totally transported. We will travel to the cedar forest of Lebanon. We will chop down the tallest tree. We will slay Humbaba, who Enlil, the counsellor of the gods, placed there to terrify men. And in doing so, we will wipe all evil from the face of the earth. <laughs> With a flick of a switch, just like that, he could flick from one character to another seamlessly and each time he placed himself into the, uh, into the different character, he absolutely, he somehow embodied it, he even looked different. And now he can see Gilgamesh in front of him. Brother, brother, do it now, before the gods see. thought that it was it was a one person performance i didn't appreciate the beauty of the music that would go with it that for such a long book to actually be put together so beautifully into such a short into just one evening um, and also to render it with its levels of meaning um, so that it was a story told but it was a story told with real beauty and care. No, I am Gilgamesh. I slayed Humbaba. I slayed the bull of heaven. I defied the gods. No. No, I am Gilgamesh. I am Gilgamesh. Uh. I'm a mayfly. The river breaks its banks and washes me away. And the gods don't notice. Gilgamesh, it turns out, is a shriving of the soul. It's about death within death and death within life and how you deal with it. And it was sublime. I'll never forget it. Ne I wouldn't forget it any more than I'd forget a voyage. And uh, it has to be seen. I'm sure other tellers would tell it well, 
but Peter was born to tell it.